Welcome to another episode of Hot Ones Heritage Edition. This time to promote our black box, the Glass Menagerie. Um, it opens the 20th, the 21st, the 27th, and the 28th. I'm Hayden and I play Laura. I'm Fatima and I'm the assistant director. I'm filling in for Jason, who plays the gentleman caller. I'm Zach, I'm playing Tom. Uh, I'm Kim, I'm playing Amanda. <laughs> and let's get into the first wing then. Oh. All right, so this is the Slap Your Mama Wing. Um, very nice name, I like that one. Um, very apt to our relationship in the play. Um, <laughs> 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 you guys ready? First one? How you guys feeling? Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> Slap Your okay. Mama. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we gotta all eat it at the same time. Wait. Uh, wait, no, wait, wait, I don't want to touch that. that one. <laughs> oh, that's that one, yeah. Okay. What? What is wrong with you? <laughs> that looks wing. gross! Pick up the wing. No! It's, it's a chicken tender. It looks scary. It'll probably be okay. Ew, it's like... <laughs> Just... Uh, you have such a small one, I Wait, there's, a, there's another one! <laughs> Just come around. I'm a little sick, guys, okay? I wasn't planning to be here, but Jason didn't show up. Okay, so. fine. Ready? Wait, one. do I have to like eat it all into my mouth? Like, no, just take a bite. No, like, just, just, just drop it oh, in okay. front of your face, actually. Oh. You're fine. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? <laughs> no. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. That's actually not that bad. That one actually good. goes hard. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. It's like Dave's hot chicken, actually. I haven't eaten enough Dave's hot chicken to know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave's it's really not that amazing. bad. That was fine. Do I have to eat all of it? Um, you're fine. Yes. No? Yeah, that's good. I actually will take all of it though, because that sauce is. It's pretty good, good, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, Laura. Do you feel it's difficult to play a character who's just so meek all the time, or do you feel like uh, your timid nature sort of helps with that? Probably the second one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all you're giving me. It's easier to be shy when you are shy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be in your first black box, your first play of all time, and just to be in such an intimate setting and you got to perform in front of all that? It's a lot of pressure, mm. like a lot. Um, it's exciting, you know, sometimes. <laughs> it, it's just a lot of pressure, especially considering that, you know, my character has like a lot of lines mm -hmm. and she's in every scene. And, yeah. and it's just, I don't know, it's just very frustrating. Do you feel you can relate to your character at all? Yeah, actually. In what way? Good question. Because Amanda's not really like the best. You know, she has her flaws. I guess I can relate to her in the aspect of she's not she's not a bad person. She clearly cares for her kids, but she just goes about it the wrong ways. Right. Um, she's also very loud mm -hmm. and she never shuts up, so I can really relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I never shut up, you know. I just very I'm, I'm very obnoxious. So is Amanda. She's very irritating and obnoxious, and I kind of see myself in that way, you know. I feel like you're being a little too hard on yourself, <laughs> but I absolutely understand that. <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to move on to the second wing then? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that was a very horsey athlete, yeah. Okay, yeah, I trust us. Okay, this yeah. is the um, habanero infused maple syrup, which seems like a weird wing topping, but you know, I'm all for it. I'm okay. actually scared for this one. I'm just gonna take a bite out of this one because this is massive. All right. Can I just lick it? What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's like a small bite. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Ew, I do not like that one. Mine's actually pretty good. Yeah, it just tastes like maple syrup. I don't like it. <laughs> Slap your mama still on the top of my wrist. I'm gonna finish this. This is actually good. Take your time. <laughs> so far, <laughs> slap your mama. I didn't, I didn't even taste spice for the maple syrup. Yeah, Do you? Not really. I'm mm. so throwing up later. I ate way too much, <laughs> I ate way too much this morning. I should not have ate those burritos. Mm. Uh, so, Fatima, uh, this is your first time directing a play. How's that experience been for you so far? Um, honestly, I kind of like it. Like, 
I've been in the musical. I've been in the play. I auditioned for the black box. So I didn't get a part. Mm -hmm. um, but getting the assistant director, I was really excited because I was like, oh, I could direct a play, you know. So I right. helped Newman. That's it's really fun. It's it's a it's a different perspective mm -hmm. view on plays because like I'm used to being in them, not right. the other way around. So it's pretty cool. I like it. So then you know the pressure that Kim was talking about. Do you feel like there is more or less pressure just being like an outside director and engager of things? I feel like it's less pressure than being an actor because you're not necessarily like, nobody depends on you to, what Kim was saying, like say your lines correctly and stuff like that. Or like remember your blocking or stuff like that. But I say that there's pressure to give you guys the right advice, you know, mm -hmm. so. All right. Yeah. You've been doing a great job, by the way. Thank you. You're great. Right. <laughs> so Zach, what's your process of memorization like? Um, so most of the times I just try to like read it as many times as I can. But recently, actually, I've got like a bunch of monologues in this one. So oh, yeah. I've, yeah, I've just started like getting an audio recording on my phone and just saying the lines very slowly and monotonously. And then I just like sit back in my bed and repeat it. I swear to God, if someone walked in, they'd think I was insane. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm just like chanting to the ceiling or whatever. Oh my God. It is, um, it's not good optics for me personally, but I mean, it works, you know, I, I got memorized. Yeah, you pretty good out there. <laughs> um, Kim, what's it like to like get into character before we actually start rehearsal? It's a lot of pressure <laughs> um, to get into character. Well, cause like, okay, so usually I like have like a whole school day and like, you know, I would usually like cry during the whole school day. And then when I get to rehearsals, I'm like, I don't want to do this. I really don't. Mm -hmm. But and because my character is like so happy and jolly, well, she's not happy, but she's so jolly and this and that. So it's like really hard for me to like, cause you know, I'll just be so like stressed over the school day. And then as I go to rehearsals, I'm just like so tired, mm -hmm. but I just like suck it up and I'm like, okay, just act happy. just. Be jolly about it. Yeah. Um, what's it like? It's just, I don't know. Just it's you like, just do it. I just do it. <laughs> it's my job. It's fair. It's like it feels like a it feels like a distraction. I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. Like it makes me forget like the whole like school day, or like just you know in general. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. like you, like I start focusing on something else rather than like whatever was happening beforehand. Yeah, so it's, right. it's really nice actually. Right. Dang, it does do that, huh? I didn't realize mm -hmm. how much we focus on it, and then it's a good um, perspective on it. Yeah, because then you forget like everything else because you're in the moment. Yeah, you're, right. You're in this, so it's really nice. I feel like in the same way, it can like feed into the performance sometimes, though. Yeah, you know, just the frustration oh, and, and everything. Does. Yeah, it helps a lot. All right, next wing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be, this is where it really kicks up, the garlic Carolina Reaper sauce. Oh. Do like a pan view, just get like the B-roll, just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yep. This one? Yes. Wait, is it garlic? Yeah. Um, it's garlic Reaper, so it's Carolina Reaper. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Right. Yes. One, two, um, three. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I feel it on my nose. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> it tastes like <clears throat> That's bad. Mm -hmm. Well, it is the Carolina Reaper, so. Very garlicky. Oh, it's worse after. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't eat it. I just licked it. That's bad. You didn't even eat it? No. You gotta take a bite. No. That's... You gotta take at least one bite. Oh my god, I can't do this. I really thought I could handle this, but I can't, guys. I'm sick. Just take some milk. Oh, it builds. <laughs> you should... Oh, it builds. It's easier to take a bite because at least you have the sauce. Oh my god. It's from the chicken. Yeah. Guys, I can't do this. Don't I can't do milk. this. Kim, take a bite. No. That's Ooh. disgusting. Okay. I'm gonna throw up. Can we tap out? Damn. Ugh. It's not perfect. That one makes my scalp burn. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Is there a question? You should be I'm Mexican. I should be able to handle it. Right. Question. <laughs> oh my god. Um, 
Uh, what was with that leap? I didn't <laughs> feel the last one. I start, I start singing a lullaby. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> <It's> actually, um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Next question. Next question. What are you most excited about the show? Um. Okay. So. When I first got the script, okay? <laughs> uh, when I first got the script, I read it over. So the first thing I do when I get one is you just read the whole thing through. <sighs> You're excited about the script? Well, no, listen. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I got to read it. I, 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 no. Yeah, right. You read it like a book. I'm glad it was a book. Right. And Tennessee Williams, the playwright of this show, he is like a genius. I, like normally when you read through a script, it'll give you stage direction. It'll be like, okay, then you go over and you do this, right? But Tennessee Williams, he goes into so much depth about every single thing that his character does. He has like pages of preamble before he actually gets to any of the lines, just to talk about the way the lighting, the music, the just how everything should be. Like just everything about okay, the lighting itself, just mm -hmm. to see it all put together with the lighting. It's colorful. It's, it's colorful. It's, a, rainbow. it's a colorful, like it's all <laughs> sentimental stuff. Fatima is dying over here. No, I'm just trying not to think about the spice, and I'm also trying to think about my answer. Uh huh. Well, anyways, yeah, it's just to see it all put together in the end with all the lighting done, and I just think it's gonna be beautiful. And the themes that are in the show, I think everyone can like relate to them on some sort of level. And I feel like that's amazing about the show. How are you talking? I don't want to eat that one. Okay, how are you talking? Because I need a. Think about something else. <clears throat> Going back to what Zach said, this play is very beautifully written. Honestly, when I flat, I was like, the last one I didn't read, this is whatever. And usually I don't read the scripts until the first read through of that we have. So when we were for having like the first, well, yeah, when we were having, I wasn't here for the first read through because I had to do something. But the first like, the first couple days we went through blocking. Um, I was really like, oh, like what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I don't want to spoil it, but something, I was really shocked by scene seven because I was like, hold on, this is messed up. Because I was like, oh my God. Because you think it's going to come out one way, but it actually comes out another way that you did not expect because I didn't expect. And I'm really, really excited for people to come to the show and see what we've done because our actors have put really hard work into it. Like they say, it's a lot of pressure for Black Box because it's only four characters. You guys have to memorize a lot. You guys have to memorize the blocking and you guys, also, they also have to put themselves into the character to really like give you guys a good show. So I don't know, I'm just really excited to see how it's all gonna come together. And that really took the spice away, so I'm so excited. <laughs> um, Hayden, actually I have a question for you. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's a very intense show, like in some moments, like the argument scene yeah. where we're just screaming in each other's faces. There's so much <laughs> anger yeah. and emotion in it, right? Yeah, um, I love it. How do you feel like, um, are you ever like actually like- Scared? Affected or scared, yeah. 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 I get scared every time. <laughs> really? You scared, you scared me in the first scene, um, the third scene, fourth scene, uh, seventh scene. That's a lot of the scenes. <laughs> there's, there's only eight. No, there's, there's only, only seven. seven. Oh, wow. Excuse I'm just me. a very scary person. I'm sorry. No, yeah, honestly, when you slam the table, like, you're like, you're so aggressive about it. You're like, boom! No, no, that that's caught me off guard that one time. I apologize. Like, I swear I'm not that angry. And, you know, but that's what, that's what makes Zach a good actor. Because he's always, no, it's really good. He's always like, no, and then during like the fighting scenes, screaming scenes, right? I feel like <laughs> you look like you're about to cry every it's time. Scary. And I feel so bad, especially during the second scene where I'm all mad at you. You look like you were gonna be about to cry. And I'm like, should I tone it down? Yeah. I feel so bad. I'm, I'm glad that I'm nice to you because I no. feel bad. I feel bad. Wait, yeah, in real life or in the play? I'm like, you're not nice to me in the play. I'm, I'm, you're only nice when you're drunk. I have a soft spot. <laughs> I make it slightly true. plastered in the play. My fault. Um, <laughs> a little. I'm a little nice. Yeah, I got a soft spot for you. No, you're not. Just I'm, I'm a great time. big brother. I'm a little. I forgot little I'm a little brother. brother. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be older than me, guys. Older. Like two, three years. Two, two years. years. Yeah. How okay. That? I don't think there's a single scene where me and you get along. Mm, no, there's. We, no. we get along a little bit on the balcony. Oh, oh scene. on the balcony. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, 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 no, I forgot. And now for our last sauce, mm -mm. the bomb. No. 
Ooh. I'm sure it's gonna be the bomb. Here. In our mouth. Please cut that. Please cut that. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Do you feel ready for this one? No. No? Okay. I'm gonna make my next I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we ready? Are we mentally prepared for this? No. But let's no. Do it. Sucks to suck, I guess. Let's say cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright, three. Wait, where's the two, trash can? Go, <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fatima's kind of preoccupied, so I'll answer this one. <laughs> um, uh, okay. We have the musical coming up. We don't know what it's gonna be. We know what's gonna happen. I'm excited for it. I hope I'm gonna be in it. I think I've got a very nice voice. You can bet Fatima's gonna be in it. She's got a great voice. Um, if I sing, do you think the spice will go away? Yes. Don't sing. Don't sing. Don't sing. <laughs> She's dying. She's dying in front of us all. No, actually, this should be illegal. I don't know how Zach's surviving, knowing that he took almost the whole wing. It's just more chicken. My lips are burning. Chicken. We also have Mr. Heritage coming up. Um, shameless plug. I'm plugging that. Mr. Heritage, go watch it when it happens. Are I'm you, dying. Are you it's okay now. Oh. I just realized that I'm gonna be ruined for the rest of the day. I'm supposed to go on a, on a date later. I'm gonna be... Uh, I'm supposed to go to work later! Sucks to suck. 
<laughs> Are you checking yourself on yeah. your phone? It's okay. I look so hot when I cry. <laughs> I'm most excited for the musical <clears throat> and Patriot Olympics and graduating and grad night and prom <laughs> and more stuff that I can't talk about right now. I'm gonna be you. Oh. Okay, are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd Kim go? Oh. You ate the same thing, Bonnie, but I assume where'd Kim go? Well, I, I, I got my wisdom teeth out, so I pretty much practiced swallowing things whole. Oh. So I chewed it as fast as so I could and then swallowed it like a pill. It's good. It's not. I feel like this is really just gonna bring us all together in the end. You know, shared trauma. I won't throw up, but it's just disgusting. It yeah. I still feel the milk like swirling in my stomach. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like Oh, dude, I'm drenched in sweat. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a cold sweat. Okay, anyway, yeah. moving on. Moving on. So, so um, how about you guys? Um, you guys are in your sophomore year, both of you. And anything you looking forward to this year? Um, the play, and that's it. Just the play? <laughs> What else is coming? I don't do the musicals. Oh, okay, I'll go see that. <laughs> yeah. The musical sound is okay. I'm not really a good singer though, so I probably won't. You're not gonna do clubs or anything like that? I don't want to do that again. I was thinking of doing track <coughs> season again. That's why I left, Hayden. That's why I left. Oh, this dude. It's so hard. Yeah. Your body doesn't hurt here. You don't it have that to do it. Yeah, and then I, I put it for this and look where I ended up. I'm really regretting that decision. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a Drama cycle spot. here. It's There's spot. a cycle here. X cross country slash track kids. Drama kids. I was in cross country too and then I was like, no. Well, everyone That's tries better. cross country or everyone tries running at least once in their life, mm -hmm. right? You know, sometimes it's just not people's bag, you know? I just need my lips to go numb. Okay, did everybody answer the question? Yes. Yes, yes all right. Okay, <clears throat> I'll do the outro. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching. Um, come see the Glass Menagerie the 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th this month. I'll see you there. If you don't go, I'll find you. <laughs> oh my god! What? What? This one? Which one is it?